Hi guys, this is James from Magic Mirror and in this video, I want to show you how you can create uh, screen edges uh, in those perspective mockups uh, using Magic Mirror. So, as you can see in the video, uh, in, in screen, there is a front face of the screen and also an edge. And then the edge is slightly darker than the front face because uh, we want to simulate some lightning effect. So let's get started. So uh, I have already prepared my screen and my artboard here with uh, a darker background color. So make sure we can see our shapes clearly. And let's get started by creating our front face of the so it's the left side of our uh, mockup. So use the rectangle tool by pressing R and then draw a rectangle shape here. And then how we transform uh, this shape into a uh, distorted shape is to use the transform tool. And just by going to a one of the corner and just drag it and you can tweak it uh, to the angle as you like. And then we will want to immediately apply the uh, screen effect to see the result. Go to uh, rename the layer to our uh, according to the our artboard and then use the uh, magic mirror action inside the plugin menu magic mirror the first magic mirror uh, action here. We, so uh, we see our effect getting applied on the shape but it's rotated so uh, it's easy to fix by going to the magic mirror rotate content uh, action uh, so now we have our front face prepared then let's create our edges to create our edge uh, similarly we will use the rectangle tool and go to create a slightly wider um, shape here and then uh, use the transform tool again to make the shape a bit more uh, a bit more perspective I like to make it a bit more perspective because it will look a bit more nicer uh, the screen edges will result in a, a more uh, 3d effect and then uh, change the name again reapply our magic mirror on screen using Control shift m rotate using Control command shift r so uh, we are not done because our edges want to also mirror the content as well as you will see the front face should be extending uh, to the edge instead of uh, instead of having the same uh, geometry right uh, we will tap on our layer and use the flip content action in magic mirror okay uh, now we have our edge but it's too long uh, too, too wide so uh, we just create a mask to mask out the uh, area Similarly, we'll use the rectangle tool again and draw the depth, say, uh, 22 pixels here. And then we will make this shape as a mask using the context menu by selecting the layer, right click, and use as mask. So after that, you will move the screen uh, above the mask layer and it will take effect immediately. So there's a little bit of artifact out there because uh, we haven't turned off the fill layer. So go to the mask and turn off the fill layer. And after we have the edge, uh, we just left the shadow. So we use the same layer uh, of the screen edge and add a shadow fill here. So by pressing the plus button and we use the gradient fill and then go to um, use a dark value of our uh, shadow so I like to use uh, 
completely black color with 10 as its alpha at the top and the bottom to be uh, black but 20 uh, percent of alpha so uh, this is how I did the screen edge I hope you like it and enjoy using magic mirror and creating perspective layouts thanks for watching <laughs>